Now I'm going to show you how to replace a thermostat in a Ford van. This is a 96 Econoline and in this Ford, almost every vehicle the thermostat is under the upper radiator hose so you just follow the upper radiator hose and uh, it'll be on the engine side of the upper radiator hose on almost every vehicle. Uh, we're going to take the air air box off, the air cleaner off, so we can get at the get at the um, uh, uh, thermostat more easily. We got the air cleaner box off right here, and uh, the thermostat is going to be right under this housing. So we got two bolts, one there, and one on the other side, just opposite it. We're gonna take off, and uh, now there's gonna be some coolant that's gonna fall, that's gonna um, leak out when you take that off. So I put some. Uh, I want to put a drain pan or something underneath to catch the coolant. <clears throat> there's the old thermostat underneath the housing there. We're just gonna pull that baby out of there. You need a screwdriver or something to pry it. Pulled it with a vice grip, pulled it out because they get stuck sometimes. So that's the old thermostat. I took the hose off the thermostat housing, took the thermostat housing off, and now we just scrape the old gasket off so both surfaces are clean. I use a wire brush and um, this razor blade utility knife to uh, get it totally clean and the other side, the engine side too. We're gonna scrape that carefully not to get it inside so none of the pieces fall inside the engine. There's gotta be totally clean there. We got the new thermostat and gasket in place. Now we're just gonna put the housing back on and screw the two bolts in place. I put the bolts, the two new, the two bolts in there into the housing hand tight Oh, I just got to tighten them with the wrench. Put the air box back on. Now, <clears throat> just need to add some coolant. Replace the coolant that we drained out. Gonna add it directly to the radiator. I like using the Ready Mix Premix 50 50 water coolant so I don't have to mix it myself. After you get the new thermostat in there, start it up and let it run. Check for leaks. Look underneath. Make sure nothing's leaking, and we're good to go. 